NZS 3604. New Zealand Standard 3604 shows how to construct timber framed buildings up to a maximum of three stories where there is good ground. NZS 3604 is used to design most homes and other low rise timber framed buildings in New Zealand. NZS 3604 has 17 different sections. The first section contains notes on the scope and interpretation, general requirements and site requirements. It shows building classifications and the table of the imposed floor life load reference values. Definitions of spans and loaded dimensions are also given. Section 2 is about the general dimensions, tolerances and different material components. Section 3 is about site requirements, soil types, site preparation and environmental effects on the building site. Section 4 outlines the durability requirements for different components and exposure zones. Section 5 contains information about bracing design for subfloor, walls and roof against the wind and earthquake forces. Section 6 has information about the foundation and subfloor framing for suspended timber floors. It covers different types of pies and foundation walls and also burials and stingers. Section 7 is about floors and their components. You can find information about floor joists and flooring in this section. It also covers concrete slab on ground floors for timber buildings. Section 8 contains information about wall components such as studs, lintels, head trimmers, top and bottom plates. You can design all these components and their fixings using the tables given in this section. Section 9 is about posts and their connections to the other components. Section 10 contains information about roof framing. It shows different types of roof structures that are covered by this standard and how to choose the size and fixing for the components. Section 11 used to cover the building envelope and weather tightness. These information are now covered in building code A2AS1. Section 12 is titled Interior Linings. However, Interior linings are not a general requirement of this standard, unless the selected linings are used as part of a wall bracing or ceiling diaphragm system. Section 13 contains information about ceilings. Section 14 shall be used for the design of buildings with 3kpf floor loading. This section details the increased requirements for the design of structural components. Section 15 shall be used for the design of buildings that are required to carry snow loadings of 1.5 and 2 kPa. Section 16 contains information about composite construction lintel tables. Section 17 is about expansive soils and it is informative only. The Building System Performance Branch of MBIE has sponsored access to view and print a single downloadable PDF copy of this standard at no charge. You can download the PDF file from standard.govt.nz slash shop slash nz3604 2011.